going to love a blizzard. <laughs> We drove down to Colorado Springs yesterday. Today we woke up to this. We're here to do something really special. Today, Joey is going to be taking part in the Forged in Fire Challenge. Recently, Joey's been watching Forged in Fire, so I searched for a place in Colorado that would teach him how to forge a sword. I came across a location that offers a forging challenge that is similar to the show, and I knew it would be the perfect Christmas gift. I went to the location and filmed a little video to surprise him with. Hey Joey, this is Ron Hardman. I own Kilroy's Workshop. I was actually on season seven, episode 12 with my daughter on Forged in Fire. And our Forged in Fire champion is... Ron. Well, the, the Forged in Fire challenge, it's rounds one and two. What we do in there is we actually set a clock. We got a clock just like the show, and it's a one-on-one -on -one class. Uh, we have a lot of fun with it. And uh, what you end up with at the end is what you end up with the, at the end, except you also get what we make. And so we pair you up with one of our smiths here at the shop. You keep what you, you made, and you also keep what we make. And so you get that kind of a two for one on that deal. So look forward to seeing, seeing you here in the shop. All right, outside it's currently 10 degrees and absolutely freezing and snowing. But we are at Kilroy's workshop where they do welding, blacksmithing, and tons of other things. They are home to many, many contestants of the Forged and Fire TV show. Now, I don't know if you've seen any of those shows, but basically they make swords or blades or knives. It's really cool, and today Joey's going to do just that. All right, we're going to go inside where it's warmer. Yep. What we're going to do is he's going to be kind of the leader cool. and you're just going to follow the bouncing ball. Cool. He's going to walk you through every step of the way for forging a knife, you know, forging the point, getting the blade shape that you want, forging the handle, um, and then we'll walk you through heat treat cool. and what actually makes a blade usable. And then after heat treat, uh, our goal is to get you quenched in oil and in the tempering oven in three hours. Okay. So that's going to be the morning. And then the afternoon, we're going to take a break for lunch, uh, let the blades temper, and then come back and you're going to have the afternoon to then put a handle and sharpen the knife. Cool. Perfect. Uh, so it'll be a, a busy day. After that brief overview of the day, it was time to pick what to make. If you want to do a lot of chopping, a recurved blade like that is good for chopping. Joey decided on a Bowie knife and added a little extra challenge by making it pattern welded steel. Well, a beginner's version at least. He's going to be stacking up small pieces of alternating types of steel, welding them together, and forging them. It's got the basic idea in there. It's shaped pretty much like that one. Mm -hmm. You'll see this point right here. It's got like slightly rounded edge, flat back, and then this hook thing in the back. Round one is you work side by side with us to forge a blade, get it all the way to quench in that three hour time period. working in my grandfather's shop again, learning how to weld for the first time. Just cutting stuff. Big steel lollipop. Woohoo! Alright, show me your lollipop. Lollipop. Blast. It's the first time I've welded in 20 plus years and it's stuck together, so <laughs> thanks Papa. It's not great. It's not bad. What's I've seen cars with shittier mods than that. I guess you have to like chip at it with a hammer to see if it actually penetrated or not. Well you can see that it penetrated. Then we're gonna let it sit for a bit. Then we're gonna wire brush it off. 
looks like a big piece of beef jerky. It's exhausting. My arm hurts. Thank you. This is a lot of fun. Ladder. Straight into Detreat. Well, 21 15 degrees is nicer. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know what's sharper, my nipples or this knife. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you don't fall in the snow. Okay, hold on. All right, you're halfway done. Yeah. How you feel? Uh, my right arm is really sore. <laughs> um, there's a lot of hand grip and forearm strength needed just to like swing hammers and keep the metal straight while you're like pounding through on the machines. Um, but it's so much fun. Snowing. And for round two, it's two hours, and we've got to do the handle and sharpening and all that kind of stuff, and you'll find out that that's actually the hardest part of the whole thing. Mine's the chonk one that looks like a whale. Just turn that furnace back on, it's cold. <laughs> started standing it down in the middle.
I get to relax. Joey's in there. All right, let's go check on him. Starting to actually like look like a knife. It's so shiny now. What? It's so shiny. It will cut a nail. <laughs> Did that look so good? Yeah. Nice. Cool. I am covering Grace. That's nice. That's a cool color. Well, that might fit <laughs> yours. Grab your piece of wood okay. and peel peel off the label from it okay. and then we'll drill some holes. Cool, cool, perfect, it fits. And so now let me trace this out on here. So that way you can shape your blade while you're etching this, or not blade, handle while you're etching this. So then it just goes in here, let it sit there for a few minutes, cool. and then once you take it out you'll be able to see the pattern. part epoxy it mixes together and then it starts to harden and it takes it sets in about I don't know five ten minutes but it takes a full 24 hours to fully cure mm -hmm. um, so like you can work it pretty soon after this but then like you're gonna want to wait like a day or so before you beat up this knife Go ahead, reach in there with your fingers, and then just spread a bunch right on this thing. Perfect. Yeah, that turned out really nice. Handle shaping, I'll probably just hop on that big grinder right there. Really quickly take all that material off, round it out, mm -hmm. and then I'll sharpen out a really fine grip belt. And Sharp? I think so. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's sharp. 
And then last the, thing to do. Yeah, where's that piece of paper? <laughs> yeah. I got it. Another one. I made a knife. There we there go. There you go. Okay. So I can't <laughs> cut paper. It is a Bowie knife, so it's not like razor sharp like a kitchen mm -hmm. knife, because it has a thicker yeah. bevel to it. But it's got some chonk. Yeah. Wow, crazy. Just the differences. <laughs> See that paper. Oh. A slight angle. Oh. It, it'll work. Trust me, it'll work. Oh, there we go. Did you rip it? If you I did, don't know. I don't know. that's okay. Here, can I see it? Yeah. Cause that one is still kind of ripped. It's shooting me. Cutting. Is it? I think it's. Yeah, it's sharp enough to cut paper. Okay. So. What'd you think? Uh, it was so much fun. I'm definitely not a swordsmith or a master smith or a forge and fire <laughs> champion, but I had a lot of fun and I made a sword and we came back with two swords because <laughs> I got to keep the one that my instructor made in parallel with me. So I think that was a really cool experience. If you're ever in Colorado Springs, Kilroy's workshop, you can do the forge and fire challenge or just any of their other classes. Um, we already started looking through the schedule to see what else they have. The axe throwing where you get to build your own axe and learn to toss it, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Bye, guys. And I got no boo boos. And. <laughs> the camera at the shower. <laughs> we, we live in a van, so I can't just throw them on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could. It's a video. Oh. Right, cool. <laughs> there you go. Man. Cool. Thank you. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Shiny.